I'm Dr. Brad Ingrau, hearing aids expert for SeniorLiving.org. In this video, we're going to talk about why you should have a hearing evaluation after age 60, even if you don't think you need it. Seniors today are healthier than ever. This is due in large part to improved access to quality information on sites like seniorliving.org. As we age, we all expect to see additional screenings pop up in our annual physicals. It's not uncommon after the age of 50 or so to start to be screened for things like high blood pressure, diabetes, depression, and cognitive function. But what about your hearing? Studies going all the way back to the 1990s show a direct link between untreated hearing loss and something called health-related quality of life. This is a measure of global wellness used by the World Health Organization to identify how healthy a person is in general and how well they can adapt to changes in their health as they age. As I said, there's a direct relationship between untreated hearing loss and health-related quality of life. Even a small amount of hearing loss can make you start to withdraw socially. Once you withdraw socially, you don't go out very much. You don't exercise as much. And little by little, you start to put on a little weight, maybe a little pre-diabetes kicks in, and before you know it, you're feeling pretty lousy. And that's where those early depression thoughts start to kick in. All of those chronic health problems degrade your overall health-related quality of life. These studies found that simply by treating the hearing loss with high-quality hearing aids, those people improved their health-related quality of life significantly and those improvements lasted well into the first year of treatment. So this is really important that we do this, and it's just very, very simple. Medicare Part B covers hearing evaluations by audiologists if prescribed or referred by your primary care provider. So all they need to do is write a little prescription and say, please evaluate hearing, and then you check with your insurance and find a local provider. Now, some of the private insurances and the Medicare Advantage plans allow for something called direct access. Direct access allows you to go to an audiologist without that referral, but either way, it's not a real big deal. Now, if you remember back a few months ago, we did a video about how to get free hearing aids. There's a link to it right there. If you're a veteran of U.S. military service, you very well may be eligible for general health and specialty hearing care. So make sure you check that video out, and if it's applicable to you, apply for those benefits. All right, so now you get your hearing tested. It's important to realize that doing this hearing test is establishing a baseline, not committing you to buying hearing aids. All you need to do is find out what your hearing is. Hopefully, it's within normal range, and if it is, then you simply ask your provider, hey, can I do this every two or three years so that you and I can keep track of my hearing? If you do have a hearing loss, then certainly you want to do something about it. Like any chronic health condition, the key with hearing loss is early identification and early treatment. With hearing loss, we have the added benefit of getting ahead of some of the communication breakdown that happens with hearing loss. So literally, if you get your hearing evaluated and treated sooner, you will stay out of the doghouse. So that's really it for why you should get your hearing evaluated. It's just good general health care. It's easy to do, and your insurance covers it. So stay well, stay active, stay thriving, and we'll see you in the next video.